Okay, and welcome to everyone. Let's see if we got a good signal here. Okay. I believe we're good to go. All right, what's up, everybody? Who are we looking at up in here? Who here today? Who here today? Let's see. <clears throat> Who here today? <laughs> Let's see, we got, uh, let me back it on up. Carol, well, welcome in, Carol. Boom. Jojo, what's up, Jojo? All right, Gambias, welcome in. And four pit bulls across America, four pits, what up? Diamond Eyes, welcome in, Diamond Eyes. All right, Marbles, interesting comment I saw just now, Marbles, about your uh, profile pic. Um, Amy, welcome in, Amy. All right, and Freckle Joy, uh, bust, swinging the door wide open, busting in here. Hey, Fort Pitts, who is Ashley Wright and Brumbo? Did they steal Ron's guns? <clears throat> Noe's in the house. Welcome in, Noe. Noe Amos, ladies and gentlemen. Noe in the house. All right, uh, boy, we, do we have an interesting story to tell you? Okay, uh, <clears throat> Digital, welcome in. Digital, the brain of the group. Welcome in, Digital. Thanks for coming back. Right. Let's see, there's a comment from Marbles. All right. What do we have here? Let's see. Jen P, welcome in, Jen. <clears throat> All 
Jen P says, hello, everyone. Jojo says, it was 72 here today. Wow, we had a nice day, huh? 72. Not here. Okay, let's see. Diamond Eyes says, push the like. Yeah, please push the likes and go subscribe to the backup channel. Please do it, do it, do it. Uh, backup channel, go subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500. I'm almost there. All right. All right, Miss, uh, well, Miss, Miss, um, Miss B60 swinging the door wide open with a $1.99 pound super sticker. Uh, welcome in and thank you, Miss B60. Did I say $1.99 pound? Okay. $1.99 a pound. What, what can you even get for that these days? But thank you very much, B60. I've been enjoying your comments around the channel. I see you. Okay. Jen P says, I'll be listening while cleaning. My son just attempted to make grilled cheese in the toaster with shredded cheese. Oh, son, you can't. You can't do that. Freckle Joy is uh, starting the rumor mill early. She says, uh, for some reason, something about all of this has a girl involved somewhere. Well, I agree with that. And Digital is uh, saying, what's her name? Emily. Well, damn, Digital. Who are you even talking about? You mean a dead girl? <clears throat> All right. Miss B60 says, Justice. All right. Does anyone believe anything he says? No. And neither should you, ever. Sound is good. Thank you. Are we allowed to have this conversation in here? <laughs> you do what you do in my chat. Let's see. Marbles, I dare ask how she passed. All right. New pick, same account. <clears throat> Nancy Drew. Right, there you go. Na Nancy Drew. Welcome in, Nancy Drew. Welcome in, Miss uh, Nancy Drew. You are... Uh, Nancy might have given Nancy's a bad name, but uh, you're the good Nancy. You're the good Nancy, Nancy Drew 101. Thank you for being here. Aaron Town, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Aaron, for coming in. Uh, I avoid the color boys. Both are incredibly biased and have no respect for women. Um, <laughs> let's see what we got. Marbles, we talk about everything respectfully. Okay. Marbles. Hey, what up, Frenchie? Frenchie 6290 in the house. French 6290, what up? Good evening, all. Amy, Digital, Diamond Eyes, Aaron Town, Marbles, Gen P, Nancy Drew 101. Peace to all. And anyone else in the Lurker crew, come on and join the chat. It's friendly in here. Come on and join the chat, everybody. Uh, but I have trouble. <laughs> Actually, never mind, because I have trouble enough keeping up with, with who's in here. Um, let's see. Jen P says, Jojo, same here where you live. I'm in Chicago, so warm today. Good old Chicago. All right. So I prayed to the hacker gods last week, and today my prayers were answered. All of my pictures suddenly appeared on my phone. Well, that's interesting. That's great. Aaron says, hello, it's been quite a while. My brain goes into crisis response at angry people, forcing me to flee. Well, <clears throat> anger is not a bad thing. I say like the uh, late Bobby, Bobby Hemet, uh, you better use that shit. <clears throat> uh, the late, great Bobby Hemet, you better use that shit. All right. Yay, Frick's, uh, Frenchie6290 is here. 
right? And I am tearing up this. Uh, I made the most strong chocolate. Let's see. My goodness. Six months of winter. What up, Louise? Welcome in, Louise. Grilled cheese is a fine art, but it can be done. <clears throat> Toaster grilled cheese. Yeah, just not with the shredded cheese uh, in this direction. All right. Doesn't Cheyenne have all been her hair? Sure did appear so. All right. Let's see who we got in here. Lunar, Lunar Ray, back in the house. Good to see you. Been a little minute. Welcome in, Lunar Ray. Join the conversation. All right. Nancy Drew says hello to everyone. <clears throat> Louise swinging the door wide open. Uh, Dean Klein had multiple accounts. But yeah, that's true. That is true. Okay. Not sure where the red hair was found, Freckle. I just know the FBI questioned Ashley about a red hair. You better be careful about trying things you see on TikTok. Okay, any update on your brother, Pitts? We've been praying for healing. Yes, Pitts, what up with the brother? He's doing all right? All right, let's see. Emily Ann account is connected to shots. Yeah, but the real question is how many Emily Ann's we got? And do we have an actual Emily? Mm. All right. So August Barnes. August Barnes. Um, welcome in. What's up? <clears throat> All right. Luna Ray. Says my puppy had a grand mal seizure the other day. I thought he died. Then we had an answered prayer. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that about your puppy. Yeah, Fort Pitt says my brother is showing improvement, but is not off the vent. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, Rebecca, welcome in. Says Rebecca and 1965. Welcome in. I better keep up with this chocolate before it gets too uh, cold. See. Marbles says Emily Ann was a shots account. And also, Someone had a girlfriend named Emily who passed, allegedly. Okay, Wright has interesting friends and family who have interesting friends and families. All right, let's see. Luna Ray's Miss JoJo. Well, JoJo's back, and so is Luna Ray, so. It's a family reunion, a party in here. And it's a locals hangout. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, thank the Lord about your dog and about um, Fort Pitt's brother. Hopefully, she'll be improvement. Let's see. Welcome in, Deanna Burdett. Welcome in, Deanna. Hello. All right. And welcome in, Lambert Co. <clears throat> Lambert Co. Come in. Let's see. I lost that comment. Oh, there we go. Lambert Cole. All right. Digital says, what's up, everybody? Louise says, my hair is auburn, but looks very red in light and changes with exposure to sun. Yeah. Your hair lighten up with the sun, get the uh, sun bleach effect going. YouTube kicked you out. Oh, sorry. I think the, the vet thinks he ingested rat poison. Oh. Oh, no. Rat poison. Yuck. Wow. 
Shay Watson, welcome in, Shay. That's the best thing about chocolate. It's good at any temperature. Well, you're, you're right on that. You're right on that. It's taking me too long to drink this. Okay. Some dudes have red beers and brown hair. <clears throat> True. No guy like that. It's like, what the hell's wrong with you, dude? Beard, beard's on fire and the hair is normal. What the hell? All right. Uh, who we got here? Frenchie saying, hey, Deanna Burdett, are you any relation to Rocky Burdett or Billy Burdett? Maybe we're putting, uh, putting Deanna on the spot. All right. Let's see. I am so glad he's alive and well, the lunar ray. I can't believe that, uh, oh man, the, the rat poison, poor guy. I'm a Kentucky gal. All right. Only we don't re keep rat poison here. Yeah, I know me either. What the hell? Where would he get that? But maybe it's not rat poison. Maybe it was something that would have a similar effect. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, I'll let you uh, chat up a little while I uh, think I need to go. I need to go stir this. Uh, stir this back up in a second. I tell you, I really didn't feel too good today at all. So I'm a little exhausted, really. Shea Watson says, give him a little vitamin K in his food. Yeah, what's up with the giving the babies the vitamin K shot when they're newborn? All right. I think I'm back. Let's see. We got, I take care of feral cats and have a couple, and a couple have died due to eating a poisoned mouse. Oh, it's a shame. Oh, no. Four pits. <laughs> Anyone ever watched their wife whoop a belligerent drunk guy's ass? <laughs> Please uh, elaborate. 
<laughs> Elaborate there. <laughs> oh, yeah, what plants do you have? Yeah, exactly. Labradoodle. Big one. I don't even mess with my wife. This guy will never pull that again. I have watched myself pull drunk guys apart. Oh. And you, oh, you're saying back to the vitamin K, the babies get a dose because it doesn't cross the placenta wall. Interesting. What would to ha what would happen were the babies to not get a dose of vitamin K? Interested in that. Okay. <laughs> Welcome in, Laura. <laughs> I, I would love to see that charity stream. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, did you, uh, did you whip out the cell phone and uh, film it? Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay. Vitamin K helps with clotting. Pulling drunk guys apart scores points. Yeah. Hey, welcome in, Omar New Newmark. Well, I have to keep asking questions and get all you guys who are hiding out in the in the uh, in the lurker crew to come on join the chat. Let's see what else. What else am I curious about? Oh, I have one. What is what is the chemical, or what is the cocktail uh, in an epidural? What is an epidural? What drugs are those? <clears throat> Newborns get it within six hours of birth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That's why I was asking. Like, it seems like it must be important. But I've often asked him, "You're not a regular dog, are you?" Oh, wow. Nancy Drew says, a distant relative of mine assisted in the discovery of vitamin K. He received a Nobel Prize. Well, wow. What in tarnation, Nancy Drew? Wow. Yeah, like Deanna says, wow, just wow. They say it helps clot the blood because, you know, historically babies have suffered from uncontrollable bleeding and need another vaccine. Vitamin K is a potassium compound. I take it with D3, 10,000 IU, similar to Curtis. Yeah, congrats, Nancy Drew. That's uh, that's incredible, man. I jump in to stop the violence because sometimes it takes people pulling people apart. It's also important you take a high dose of vitamin D every day to take a K supplement. Ah, yes, I see. That's kind of what uh, what Frenchie was saying. D and K together. D3 is difficult in oral form to ingest. K2 is a transport for D3 and helps it to get into the system. I had an epidural in my neck, third vertebrae. You talk about pain. Oh, I had an injection once in, a, I think, six or seven, C6 or seven. 
but it was to have a steroid treatment to to stop the pain or whatever it was. The injection hurt more than the neck problem ever or the back problem ever did. I remember KK telling some story about a half sister or something that had a bad episode with KK's father. Does anybody remember the story and name of the person? I thought it was Emily. Because no son, I have to take it for diabetes 2, D3, K for the heart balance was within A. Cannot take vitamin K or blood thinners or eat leafy greens. Oh, no, Nancy. Erin says, don't take them apart. You never take them apart. Okay. I'd be more worried about um, about Louise getting injured. Don't get hit, Louise. Okay. I recall Emily Ann was KK's stepsister. I may be wrong, though. My body doesn't make vitamin D, so I take high dose of D daily. Same difference. Oh, yeah, big pain needle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Pitts. The, the damn needle hurt more than the... Uh, then the annoying problem. So I never went back for another after that. I said, fuck that. That's... Plus it was like, uh, oh, at the time it was hundreds of dollars for the one shot. Okay. Love history, especially in the family tree. Okay. Curtison is an excellent transport for D3 if you can't find K2, says Frenchie. Oh, potassium. Okay, try having a chest tube insert inserted without anesthesia. It's not pleasant. No, no, thank you. No, 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 no. That's what my friends say. I don't listen. Don't get hurt, Louise. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I know my brother just had a... Uh, He had kidney stones and he had a uh, a minimally invasive surgery in which they uh, used ultrasound and endoscopy or something and they went in there and uh, and they broke up the kidney stones with waves and then flushed out the broken particles isn't that amazing <clears throat> isn't that amazing they didn't have to cut them at all They're using the resonant frequencies again. We were just speaking about that, of those uh, of those stone deposits, the calcium deposits, and breaking them up, and then on uh, just pulling them on out with some sort of suction tube. Uh, incredible. All right. Oh, here we go. This was a question I was asking. What Old Mart? Old Mart is coming in with the uh, with the goods here. How do you guys know all this shit? Epidural is like lidocaine, quadricaine, etc. Sometimes with steroids or pain meds like burst or fentanyl in an epidural or versed. You mean so it is a mixture of like a, a topical or like a lidocaine with something else like a steroid or something? What's this diamond eyes coming with crazy shit? Let's see. Nine beams of laser every day for six weeks. What happened to it? For six weeks, ain't no picnic blessed to get past it for now. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Well. You guys must be nurses and, and doctors and shit because I, you know, you, you're you're just on top of it. Look at JoJo Prof, a lit, a lithotripsy. Mm. 
Oh, like, you're going to get the award for the day. I'm going to star that one. <laughs> you're going to get the award for the day. That's the best, uh, that's, that's the most mind-blowing comment for me in the past week or two. Like, lithotripsy is a procedure involving the physical de destruction of hardened masses like kidney stones, bezoars, or gallstones, which may be, non, which may be done non-invasively. The term is derived from the Greek words meaning breaking or pulverizing stones. Lithotripso, lithotripso, lithotripsy. Oh, this will be interesting to read. Let's read this one. And, and geez, man, um, Jojo, A plus, A plus. This is the history of, of it. It's pretty interesting. Surgery was the only method to remove stones too large to pass until French surgeon and urologist Jean Seviale in 1832 invented a surgical instrument, the lithotrite, to crush stones inside the bladder without having to open the abdomen. Oh my God, that must have been painful. To remove a calculus, Siviale inserted his instrument through the urethra and bored holes into the stone. Afterwards, he crushed it with the same instrument and aspirated the resulting fragments or let them flow normally with urine. Oh, imagine the pain. Lithotripsy replaced using Lithotrites as the most common treatment beginning in the 1980s. An extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, ESWL, external shockwaves are forced or focused at the stone to pulverize it. Urethroscopic methods use a rigid or flexible scope to reach the stone and direct mechanical, mechanical or light energy at it. Endoscopy can, be, can use lasers as well as other modes of energy delivery ultrasound or electrohydraulics. Extracorporeal shock, shockwave lithotripsy was first used on kidney stones in 1980. It, also, it is also applied to gallstones and pancreatic stones. External shock waves are forced or focused and pulverize the stone which is located by imaging. First shockwave lithotriptor proof for human use was the Dornier HM3, derived from a device used for testing aerospace, aerospace parts. <clears throat> the second generation devices used piezoelectricity or electromagnetism generators. American Urological Association guidelines, guidelines consider ESWL a potential primary treatment for stones between four millimeters and two centimeters. Electrohydraulic lithotripsy is an industrial technique uh, for fragmenting rocks by using electrodes to create shock waves. It was applied to bile duct stones in 1975. <clears throat> it can damage tissue and is mostly used in biliary tract specialty centers. Pneumatic mechanical devices have been used with endoscopes commonly for large and hard stones. Laser lithotripsy was introduced in the 1980s. Pulse dye lasers emit 504 nanometer cyan colored light that is delivered to the stone by optical fibers through a scope. Homeum YAG lasers were developed more recently and produce smaller fragments. So lasers. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. <clears throat> Okay, now, Fort Pitt says, I know people that piss stones out. Those guys are not human. Well, honestly, I did when I was a, a teenager. I passed a little stone, and boy, was it no walk in the park. Um, that was a time when I, uh, it was a time when I had, uh, I would I would drink sodas and all that stuff back then. Junk food and sodas in my teenage years. 
And uh, that's what it was. Let's see. Or we have a computer in front of us. <laughs> exactly. I'd rather read it with you. Anyone going through anything, God bless you all. Keep fighting. Okay. With the laser. Yeah. <laughs> Gambia says, you're, you guys are killing me on... On break and work in the ER, I came in here and y'all are talking medical on me. It's these people in my chat. I, this, I'm asking questions. They're providing the answers. I am not a doctor. Okay. I have lived through many medical episodes. I learned nutrition from many years of bodybuilding. Awesome. Sounds not romantic. <laughs> no. Okay. I worked in surgery while I was going to college and with the double major of nursing in Spanish and minor, minor in biology. But didn't get to finish because my husband, husband fractured all the vertebrae in his back. Wow. Oh, wow. Diamond eyes had two feel so bad for patients that have stones. It's so painful. They come in absolutely miserable. Oh, I know. I remember when, like I mentioned, when I was a teenager, I had mine. It's the worst pain I ever experienced in my abdomen. And then, um, then we got to the point when the stone passed, and that was also not a pleasant experience. I know people that piss the stones out. These guys are not human. Okay. Although my ER days are long behind me, I can't say I missed them. <laughs> the hurry up and wait was way too anxiety provoking for me. Okay. Hurry up and wait, gang. I've had laser surgery done for kidney stones. Took three sessions. Doc said the stone was the size of a nine millimeter bullet. What a weird sensation that ordeal was. Wow. Yeah, well, my brother just got out. Humongous. Yeah, nine millimeter. <clears throat> I think I want to change the subject now. I'm, uh, I'm sitting here thinking about the pain, imagining experiences, experiencing it. Okay, McClellan's uncle, <clears throat> whom he was close with, was married to a lady, later married Brad German, Becky's ex, Libby's grandfather. Reco Joy says, I'm a paramedic, but I must admit I'm ignorant to nutrition. I stay alive on Red Bull and taco trucks. <laughs> Terry was with Uncle Mac a long time. He lived in Uncle Mac's old house. <clears throat> Jojo says, I had a kid, I had kidney stones for years, but never had a lithotripsy. I let it go too long once and got a severe kidney infection that lasted from September to January. Almost died from a kidney infection. Wow. Gallbladder stones, postpartum. The first doctor who saw me doubled up and struggled to breathe. Oh, saw me doubled up, struggling to read this. How long have you been this depressed? What the hell? <laughs> All right. 
My third session was at my limit. I had a string left hanging out of my manhood to remove a stent left in to keep blockage from happening in between. Imagine when sleeping, something hangs up on the string. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I have to head back. Just want to tell you how much I thoroughly enjoy the chats. Do you have a great night? Thanks for all you do, Prof. Oh, thank you. Good night. And um, try not to have the hurry up and wait, wait anxiety. Ride the waves. Go with the flow. <laughs> hurry up and wait. All right. My appendix ruptured, and they just drained the abscess and gave me antibiotics. Oof. Well, ER, ER nurses are my heroes. Some of them. Some of them. I've had times when I went in, I wasn't happy. But then I had times that I, I, would, I went in, I was impressed. All right. Frenchie says good night. Everyone say good night. All right, Derek's cousin contacted me today. <clears throat> what did he say? Is this the rumor mill? We're kicking in the rumor mill now? Is Kelly Earn the mother of McKinley? Most of my career was in the ICU, and they are heroes too. I got to say, though, the medical heroes, they get paid like heroes, so it's a really good deal. It's a really good deal for them. Medical is, it's a really good deal for them. And uh, I always notice when I'm looking at things, and how the, uh, like in, in this region, the uh, predominance of available well-paying jobs in medical field are just through the roof. It's like... Uh, Anyone going into medical would be doing very well right now. And it's pretty amazing. It's almost like it's the demand is just continuously increasing. Seems like it. All right. Just so all those listening know, people in the German family still love me. <laughs> we don't become nurses to get rich. No, but with the economy the way that it is, I've, I've just really noticed how like where there, where there do seem to be well-paying uh, abundance of jobs is in, is in the medical field. And it's amazing to me because everything else is not the greatest, but... <clears throat> If I had gone into medicine or anyone else uh, going into medicine, you just get your, take your pick. Okay. 50 watching, 23 likes, please hit the like button. I've never said that before. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Should give my, uh, What's my commercial right now? Please subscribe to the backup channel. And I have memberships. So if you want to join the membership, the memberships really help the channel out. And uh, and so do all the other ways of contributing, like the super chats and the uh, uh, 
other donation pathways, all the ways to help out in the little merch shop. I've been happy with the merch shop, and I'm uh, I'm working on my next additions to it. Um, trying to find uh, trying to find things that look nice, but also might get people talking. You know, some people see the the artwork or something and have a question about it. That's what I'm working on next. Um, and I'm working on another video or two. <clears throat> I've been working on a couple videos. For Pitch, you've always been good with me. True Prof. I'm a kind of guy, if you don't start, none won't be none. Freckle, we were raised on that motto. <laughs> well, that's, you know, that's, I... I mean, that's how you should be. But what's up with these people who start some, though? That's what I'm not getting because it's like, uh, I ain't start nothing. What I start, I come on YouTube and uh, next thing I know, uh, all these other motherfuckers starting something. So uh, that's okay. I'll finish it. Jen P says, done, done, and done. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you, Jen P. If that was regarding my, uh, my commercial break. Let's see. Aaron, do you know something about Michaela's mom? I've never heard that. <laughs> and old Mart says, Luna Ray, I did it for the money, to be honest. <laughs> Guys are crazy. I'm glad I did it, <clears throat> but didn't plan to. It's a total fluke, and no one expected me to do anything like that. I love channels that listen and not ones that don't. Oh, you watched my last video 15 times? Wow. Which one was the last? Let's see. Oh, it was the uh, Jay and uh, Jay and Noe go, go with the spirit box. You watched it 15 times. Did you like the way I put it together? I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed putting that one together. They play the reverse psychology. Yeah, of course. Projection, projection, projection. Digital, I'm trying to find out where that idea got into my head from. I think it was more substantial than rumor. It might have been someone close to the heart. I don't agree with what most creators say. I think Richard Allen is guilty. I think that there are Odins. And I like BP. I don't think there's anything nefarious about her. But I still try not to be a dick. Well, hey, we can all just have different ideas and still get along together. That's what I don't get, you know. That's the thing about these people, man, especially Snay. It's just like, man, whoever fucking started with you, or, you know, he's mad that I call him Gay Snay. So, okay, Gay Snay. Is Gay Snay worth all that you have done? All right. Let's see. Oh, gosh, I missed it. Okay, there we go. I watched the document series about six times. Well, that's an, an amazing because that thing was extremely long. Oh, yeah. If you watched it, uh, gosh, that was very long. That's a lot of hours you put in. Yeah, you got to go watch the Noe, the recent Noe and Jay in the Spirit Box. It was a very interesting video, and, and I was pretty happy with how it came out, you know, what I did with it. Yeah, Prof. Which video is a spirit box that says Benjamin? Both of them. It says Benjamin in the very first spirit box video, and it says Benjamin in the most recent. And in the middle video where they were only at Wilson Bridge, it didn't say uh, the, the second video where they were only at Wilson, it did not say Benjamin, but they were not at the trails. They were out there by Wilson Bridge. It said Henry out there. Okay. All right, let's see. What did I miss? And the Hartmans are also, no, and the Hartmans are Cody's bio grandparents. But 
but when you spread around the pictures of dead naked girls and use it to get subscribers, my hackies go up. Yeah, well, that definitely happened. We spoke about it in the last live rant. So I'm kind of done with it. So Louise says, I feel Richard Allen is innocent, but if others don't, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. You know, I feel like, how the hell would we know? One way or the other, he's, he could have some involvement, he could not. How the hell would we know? So why would I get insane with someone because of their opinion on it? We'll all eventually find out. All right, uh, I love to be able to chat about different ideas and opinions with rational people. So be careful where you go. Everyone subscribe to the backup channel and pay attention to the community page. Oh yeah, because it, I put different stuff on that one. But uh, We're preparing for another round of posting. I've been taking a little break. I'm really, uh, I haven't been feeling well the past couple of days. And then that ginger temper takes over and it's off to the races. Well, yeah, that's what I think we both got that. You know, Spirit Box mentions Benjamin twice, two different times. Yes, it sure does. And both times was out there by the high bridge trails. It was, uh, I don't know, you, you know, Jay makes a really great point about his experience with the mirrors. And you add that anecdotal account and his gut feeling as a retired master trooper, you add to that the spirit box saying Benjamin twice now out of the multitude of names it could have, it could have randomly said. <clears throat> okay, I fell asleep listening, had to rewatch each one. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could put you to sleep. Hey, Preckleson, welcome in. Hey, hey, hey. We are listening. What was the important stuff in the documentary? Nothing. I don't think it was important at all, but I think it was a fair take. You know, that's what I, I spoke about yesterday. I was saying that my overall takeaway from it is they did a fair job pretty much, but uh, I don't think it was, it, it was nothing of importance, but it, you know, it's a fair job. It wasn't terrible. And uh, of course, everyone will have their opinion, but Pitbull, is there a Henry Brown? Yes, Brenda was a Hartman and Brenda, correct? Old Mort says, uh, Cody's birth name was Hartman. Our feelings and opinions are our own. Yes, because we are all human beings. It's, it's here. You keep it. It's yours. We can share our feeling. It makes you vulnerable to do so also. Poor Pitt says, lots of browns in Carroll County. No, we, we should deep dive it. Yes, I agree. Because we're concerned about the browns over there by Wilson Bridge, Mr. Pitt. The browns that own the property at Wilson Bridge. Whoever is a murderer is one thing. Could be many POIs. What I want is the cover up is caught. Yeah, I, that's what I've been saying for a year now. I want them all. I want them all. I want the whole shebang. Okay, I watched Delphi Daughters last night for the first time in quite a while. It's very interesting to go back to all of those early interviews. Lots of little blurbs that don't get much replay. You're right about that. It's all it's it's really funny because every time I go back to an older one, I pick up on something new. You know. All of that is well worth a review because you're always going to pick up on something you hadn't heard before or you hadn't noticed. I think the title of the document there was the best part. It's mainstream media. Mm -hmm. 
it showed what a mess this investigation has been. Yeah, it, it was just, you know, it was fair enough. I think that uh, it's just like a piece of internet, I mean, uh, of TV programming, entertainment. So it's a piece of like entertainment programming. It's okay. Uh, I wasn't upset by it because I expected to be, I expected to disagree with a lot of points that it left hanging, but I was satisfied. It, it was okay. And I'm not friends with Becky Patty. I have a few private conversations with her. She has Midwestern hospitality to talk to anyone, but unlike everyone else, by no means claiming her to be a friend. Well, we're very skeptical of family here for the most part. Louise, I agree with the evidence available to the public. I lean towards not guilty and major reasonable doubt that can change when the trial happen happens depending on the evidence, yes. Yeah, I think I think no matter what at this moment, I mean, the reasonable doubt is just like, I mean, you, your point is kind of both. If there's two sides to it, <clears throat> you're leaning towards not guilty. That's one side. That's one issue. And then you also feel there's major reasonable doubt. Well, I, I am leaning towards possibly involved, but I, I am also leaning towards there's major reasonable doubt that I don't see how you're ever going to get over. It. So in my opinion, uh. In my opinion, what you're looking at is like both of us are in the same kind of feeling here. That's uh, he, he, the the and and I guess the end the end result would be the feeling that you're going to get a conviction is minimal because just reasonable doubt alone. Not to mention if what kind of evidence could you have that is not already known about? So, all right, let's see. Nancy Drew says the whole enchiladas. Yes, me too. Everyone. I want them all. It's been all this time and all of the shit we've had to deal with. Like, let's just make it worthwhile. Get them all. Everyone responsible for lying and covering up and hiding all this. But I like her. I grew up in foster care. We've given anything to have a foster mom. Well, that's what she puts across. Mine shock has a lot of claims. Yeah, it's just hard for me to listen to mine, Chuck. Uh, the voice gets annoying, but you know, generally it's a, it's good. You know, it's got good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's just the voice I can't handle. Uh, oh, Bruce. Okay, I just feel like the killer had a front row view from time to time, from the time they were dropped off and through the night. I think the killer knew the land like the back of his hand. I agree, and I mean. Benjamin Mears would have. I mean, I'm not, no accusations here. I'm just saying it, the Mears would have, without a doubt. The CW documentary was a town torn apart, but Doug Carter always says it brought the community together and surrounded the family. Tried to listen to Mind Shock, but just can't with the voice changer. It's jarring to me. That's what I'm saying, Jen. Jen, it's a little. Yeah, I mean, Julie, <clears throat> I got to say that about the uh, about that program. I mean, I think Julie came off beautifully. Uh, her 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 heart, her spirit, her thoughts. I think everything in there. I think Julie really came through beautifully. And I think that was a good thing. Okay. My issue is the woman in Richard Allen's life, mother, wife, it's a women. Okay. I believe that it starts with the land purchase of the tunnel or not land purchase. What got me was a serial killer type of response with the national billboards. Made me feel like they knew it was a serial killer. Interesting. Um, interesting to think about it like that. Like the, the billboards all over. I hadn't thought of that before. It's kind of unusual to do that. Right now, I'm just angry the way the judicial system is being manipulated and people smart enough to know better 
claiming it's all okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of it's mind boggling to see what's going on. For maybe Daddy, did I miss? Hey, yeah, Keegan Klein, welcome in for baby Daddy. Thanks for joining, man. It's uh, man, we're almost halfway through. Thanks for joining. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, remember little prof saying that. Remember my little prof moment? I can probably get him to do it right now. It'd be like a performing monkey. Omar says, I think he might be actually connected peripherally. But the case seems weak unless there's more evidence. Well, that's me. <clears throat> okay, this is pretty much exactly my feeling. I think he could be connected. But the case is weak unless there's some bombshell evidence that we don't know of. About. But to me, the reasonable doubt is through the roof. The evidence is just like, what else you going to have? That <clears throat> Okay. The deeper you look into p the people present that we know of and two different types of trafficking prevalent along who has profited since leaves many possible motives and perps. Yeah, it's kind of an open-ended thing. But, you know, my opinion is it's drug drug related. I think Freckle Joy and all the others of us are a testament to this channel. We all talk with different beliefs of the little evidence we have to examine. We do so without condemning each other. Well, if you guys are mean to each other, I'll get you out of here. Yeah, don't be mean. We're all nice. All right. Remember, it was also stressed the person might have been Ellie or a firefighter, etc. Benjamin is a volunteer firefighter and could have been directing traffic just thinking a lot. Yeah, I'm extremely concerned with that. And I remember what you're talking about, Pitts, and, and you're right. There was a feeling it was a remember, and you remember at one point Tobe was a suspect? I wonder why. Okay. Ellie or firefighter, you had the vol remember Eric Williams relaying the story that it was the volunteer firefighters who turned him away that night, him and Joe. And uh, not only that. Uh, there's word that there were DNR there who were also part of that. So you had the volunteer firemen, uh, you had the uh, LE, a couple of them, and then you had the uh, DNR. I mean, what the hell? I mean, they're turning everyone away. Luis says, I don't believe someone capable of this type of crime would have such positive happen women in their life. Just don't know, Luis. We don't know the level of involvement if there was any. You know. Fur baby daddy says I've been here. <laughs> Fur baby daddy, I'm just I'm barely hanging on, man. I didn't feel too good the past forty eight hours. Let's see. I will say, as a kid of the system, you know, woman who has. Place to child for adoption. The coaxing of an adoption for medical insurance seems not okay, but I don't know the whole story. I remember in the beginning thinking it was a hitchhiker or someone from out of town. They were pushing that narrative. They sure were. There was a push for that. There was also, there was a big push. I don't know if you guys remember this push, but there was a big push about a truck driver. You guys remember that? There was a big push about a truck driver narrative and I never bought it at all, but it was a push they were making for a while, you know, truck driving. Discourse is how we relate and learn from each other in life and live chats. Listening. I mean, I learn more from listening to others than I would ever learn and not listening. Pits, it just seems all over the place. I don't have a clue of how this wasn't investigated better. Every picture we saw with Richard Allen and his wife, they seemed happy. She seemed happy. She seemed like a goofball happy. You know, she was goofy happy in love, right? Kathy Allen. But honestly, Rick, <clears throat> to me, the impression I get is Rick always seemed distant and like he was... Uh, 
he was preoccupied in thought and you know it just kind of that's part of part of what's leading me to believe he's possibly involved in some way because he had a very detached oh why is this playing? he had a very detached uh you know when kathy would be joking and laughing and, and whatnot and rick would be kind of staring off into nowhere and looking concerned i think it it's it could be because he may have some involvement in that that he was worried about but i don't we don't know yet but you know my there are a couple of reasons that i i'm leaning towards he probably has some involvement but by no means do i believe that he's the killer or the only one involved <clears throat> Someone I talk with about this crime thinks you can't have multiple people involved without them talking. Bullshit. But I think people were talking and nothing was being done about the tips or leads. Well, that's something that came through, right? Okay, in this CW documentary, something that came through that was conveyed, uh, that they impressed upon us was... Um, just the enormity of the amount of tips that were coming in, you know. And it did leave a mark with me to make me think, you know, one thing's for sure. In this case, they have received lots of tips. So it would make you speculate that they have a much better chance of actually knowing what's going on and solving it. And so it's kind of where I am is thinking with the amount of tips they received, they have to know more. <clears throat> okay, Ben Mears married a really good Christian girl within a year she fled and filed for divorce. I wonder what caused a good Christian woman to flee her husband so early in the marriage. <clears throat> they made it seem like it was someone like Israel Keys. I predict that they will grant the Westerman dismissal. Then Nick will withdraw his contempt complaint and anything to keep facts and evidence to actually be presented open court. Damn it, digital, don't start with that. You know I've been celebrating, anticipating the Westerman trial. But I know, just I think the whole game here is to not let anything come out in the court. <clears throat> That's why they don't want Alan going to court. I've been, I've even pondered the possibility, this is believing the current timeline is accurate. Oh, well, big mistake on that. R.L. and Ron Logan, I mean, Alan and Logan accidentally witnessing the crime being committed as far as involvement. No, no, I think it's different than that. I think the timeline's different. And I think, uh, I think uh, Logan had knowledge after the fact. This is my opinion, okay? Prof's opinion. Logan gained knowledge after the fact, I think. Because <clears throat> no one was seen on the Harvest Store camera returning to vehicle, meaning the guy walking on 300 stops short of who's your Harvest Store. Now listen to me, please. Yeah, well, that's that's what you mean. If if he if it was Ben Mears, if it was a Mears, they would not have had to go across that camera on foot. So this is a, it's a whole thing that's, hey, we're just, we're just spitballing in here. We're throwing ideas out there. They don't ever want this case tried in a court. No, neither the Westerman, neither the uh, Shane Meehan. I don't know how you get, how, how do you re-secure a crime scene? You don't. That's another mind-blowing anomaly, isn't it? Isn't that mind blowing? So, so you mean to tell me this bullet was found after the crime scene was released when anyone could have gone over there and stomped the bullet into the ground? I mean, come on, man. It's bullshit. I mean, it's no good. Okay, the crime scene's rele released. They don't have a bullet. They don't have a bullet. After the fact, it's, in, it's irrelevant. Anyone could have gone there and dropped that bullet and stomped it into the ground and then called the cops and said, hey, come and find this bullet I just planted. Okay. The Mirrors Barn. Okay, here's the rumors about it. Okay, the white barn, the little white one. The rumor is that there, it was a place where uh, all the kids 
went by beer. Okay. And when it was on dry Sundays, you could go out there and drive and buy beer from the mirrors. Okay. It was a party house, a little party, party central. Okay. That little white shed. Hey, what do we know? Well, you know, here's what, here's what else we know. Jay said that when he went in the butcher shop, the office of the butcher shop was covered from floor to ceiling in uh, centerfolds and, and Playboy nudie magazines. Okay. Nude Nude women uh, plastered the walls and ceiling of that office of the butcher shop. You had Ben Mears who would uh, go and work in that butcher shop. Okay, but... They, they never planned for the public to know what happened. The mirrors, uh, many tentacles. Yes, Mike. Welcome in, Mike Cunningham. Welcome in. All right. Nothing like they should have mirrors could do no wrong. Nothing like they should have mirrors could do no wrong. Did they even, did they look? Did anyone look at the mirrors? The fact that they had to send LEOs for schooling on murder scenes right after tells a lot about the knowledge of these investigators and the unbelievable mistakes or purposeful errors we witnessed. That was another statement in the CW that popped out. They said that a lot of them received the, the training as it was happening. So what in the hell, you know? <clears throat> And we need answers on the leak. Yeah, we need Westerman's answers. But here's what we know. Cohen, Cohen, YouTubers, podcasters. Okay. Digital, I my husband that a few days ago, the Westerman case will go away so the truth doesn't come out. Yeah, and that's what they want the Allen case to do. They want Allen to go, Allen case to go away so the truth never comes out. Is that why they're pushing hard? Is that why they're pushing so hard uh, for to say he's going to plea, he's going to plea out, he's going to plea, he's going to plea, he's going to take a plea deal? Seems like they're doing that wishful thinking, you know, trying to put out this public pressure to plea. Too many errors to believe they're all coincidental or mistakes. I have some questions about the about Logan. I thought we put that theory to rest, but his home was a revolving door. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything, though. I think that you had, I think he had people hanging around that definitely could have murdered the girls. And in my opinion, it's people like Gary Kurtz and company. You mean to tell me they didn't sift the leaves and soil under the girls around them? I'm saying I would have assumed that they would have vacuumed up all of the leaf litter in case there's any fibers on any of the leaves and then maybe raked through the first two inches of soil. I mean, what what kind of fucking show was this? I would be willing to bet most involved in this case are in the club. I think so. I remember us saying that crime scene needed to be treated like an archaeological dig. It apparently was not. That's what I was saying. They should have vacuumed up all that leaf litter and they should have gone through it with a fine tooth comb for fibers. They should have uh, checked out the soil under the body. There's no way a bullet was there. I mean, you release the crime, crime scene. And you, you come back days later and find a bullet. Well, it's too late, man. You've already it's already contaminated. And we already knew it was contaminated to begin with. Okay. Thought they searched that garage like two times. A crime like this was unheard of in that place. That was exactly why I bought a house there. Damn. 
for baby daddy. Now I'm thinking about the enigma known as CM. Yeah, exactly. Nate Miller was certified CSI. I didn't know that, Marvels. We need someone to go look for the knife my brother found and send me pics of it. And don't touch it. We'll get Noe to go. We'll get Noe to go, Pits. Don't worry about that. Can someone post a link to the CW? Okay. Oh, my gosh. Amy says, uh, French, download the free CW app and watch it for free. And um, Diamond Eye says, digital, can you post the unsolved crimes uncovered for French? Yeah, French, you can watch that one too. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Jen P's back in the house. What up, Jen? If they had to take classes weeks later, clearly they had no clue what they were doing in the first few days. Well, that's what I was getting at. And that's what, that was an impression I got from the uh, CW was that, oh man, it was worse than I thought. Hey, well, welcome is a God thing. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming back in, round of applause. Uh, 27 law enforcement agencies. How was this investigation so wrong in so many ways? Yeah. And like Doug Carter said, we have the FBI and all federal agencies at our disposal. FBI and all federal agencies. He uses those words carefully and purposely, purposefully. So he said, we haven't cleared anybody. Then he says, we have the FBI and all federal agencies at our disposal, all federal agencies. They didn't secure the cemetery. That seems to make the most sense for exit and maybe even interest, entrance. Yeah, I mean, kind of. And we know that Keegan Klein told people in the jail that he was in the cemetery sitting in his car when uh, the girls were being killed. The Klan and the Masons are hand in glove in these parts. Well, that's, that's for sure. Yes, that is Ali's channel, uh, Frenchie. Frenchie. Aaron sounds hilarious. It might help if you remove the last two letters uh, when I write Queen B. Okay, Lambert Co. says, ISP and the FBI spent four days searching the crime scene. And they really expect us to believe some random citizen found this mystery bullet at the scene. No pics of the bullet coming out of the ground or verifying where. Yeah. And remember this first, remember how this fucking bullshit starts, right? The bullshit gaslighting, uh, brainwashing propaganda, PR. When the whole thing about it first came out, the story was that the bullet was in found in between the two girls. Remember that? So that was the mind control. You know, when it first the news first dropped, they said there was a bullet found in between the two girls. So everyone automatically assumed it's legit, right? Oh, there's an unspent round. It was found between the two girls, and then, and you would assume it was found at the same time. It was very clear. So that's how they started the uh, propaganda, the misinformation. Well, it turns out later, now that we know, no, it wasn't in between the two girls. It was found days later, after the crime scene had been released. And it's, it's, and it's, it's unfired, which means you can't even test for the uh, for the pen, the pen markings on the firing pin. So suddenly, the like the validity of that bullet just it just falls through. It 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 just it crumbles. It's like we now you now you see that wow, this is interesting. This this bullet not only was it not found between the two girls when the whole thing was found. It was 
not found. The girls were removed. Everything was removed. Days later, they get a call or some tip that now it is found. And then it's found under the soil and it's not fired so that all you all you can test for are the extraction marks. Extraction marks is not a perfect science. It's 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 nebulous. On top of that, anyone could have gone in the man's house, stolen the round to go plant at the scene after the after the bodies had been after after the bodies had been discovered in that spot. Someone could have said, "Hey, let's set this guy up and go get a bullet out of this gun." I don't know. It's a, nothing makes sense about it looking back. But remember when that news first. Hit, they, hit, they hit us over the head with the gaslight special, and it said, there was a bullet found between the two girls' bodies. Mm. All right. We need thinkers, not sheep. Digital says, uh, so Nate Miller would have known about the evidence collected and screwed up. Marbles bringing the info tonight. Where is Marbles? Did I miss something? Oh, yeah. Marbles said Nate Miller was a certified CSI. It's on Google Evidence Technician specifically. Okay, now let's get back to... Was the sheriff that Tobe took over for an old grand wizard? Pooh. Yes, yeah, CM, I found it very curious that Kelsey immediately took the geocache to LE just in case. wonder what made her think it possibly had anything to do with the crime. I don't know. You know, my opinion here is that uh, they were geocaching when they encountered the demons in the woods. Okay. Carter said they had a roadblock set up at the edge of town, asking every person if they had seen anyone suspicious within a couple hours, in, suspicious within a couple hours of a girl's reported missing. I do remember something like that. <clears throat> Prof. Nate Miller's obit says he was evidence tech and all of the police departments he worked for. Has anyone seen the written transcript on the police scanner the day of the search? No, I want it. Well, what did I see? Someone had transcribed it. There's a question posed. Are you guys down over the hill? Not recorded, just written. Wow. Now I want to go re-examine that. Um, let me screenshot this. Right. Let Okay. I think we truly have a green mile, a sling blade time to kill type shit. Mike Cunningham says, court needed. ISP is solid. Walls are closing in on the guilty. French says, good night, everyone. Good night, Frenchy. Uh, stay safe. Stay in prayer and stay awesome. Good night, French. Everyone says good night. Okay. Diamond says, I hope I was right about JW. It was a fast shot. Uh-oh. I heard Ellie didn't even find it. Someone else did. Yeah, me too. That's that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. This what the hell? It, it makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, did they not use metal detectors out there? What in the fuck were they thinking? If, if it was right there, why did they not metal detect that whole vicinity? Okay. Marble says digital. I've read almost everything about everyone in Delphi the past seven years. Shay Watson says it was on Dr. Phil. He said lots of odd things there. Oh, you mean about the uh, roadblock? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go back and review that. Thanks again. It was on Dr. Phil. Okay.
Shay, my parents did the same. There had not been a murder within 75 miles of where I spent the first 30 years of my life. It drastically changed in the last 10 years. <clears throat> yeah, it's a mess. <clears throat> yeah, marbles. So it's okay. They needed the bullet to get the judge to sign off on the shirt search warrant of Richard Allen's home. Someone plant that bullet. Did someone take it out of Allen's house? ISP channel call numbers used at the time was 601 and 602. I have a screenshot. Okay. <laughs> like I said before, I'm a rabbit hole queen. Interesting way of putting it, marbles. Okay. I'm curious, but I remember seeing previous coverage of JW there at the search. Didn't know about him at the time. Are the clan and Odin's friendly with each, with each other? Yeah, I mean, we're, they're one and the same. They're one and the same. Yeah, that's, see, that's what uh, Luna Ray say. There was no love between Ron and Ellie. Ron said they tried pinning it on me. Well, they could have. Well, I don't think just Ellie tried pinning it on Ron. I think that the uh, perpetrators tried to pin it on Ron. That's why they would have put a bridge guy video together and that's why they would have dumped the girls on his property to put it on him. The Odins are the clan. I'm always working when you're live, but I listen to the shows. I appreciate you filling in the puzzle pieces for us. Thank you. Well, thank you, Robin. Okay. The bullet might well have dug up, been dug up from any, from the tiny hole in Alan's backyard during the search. Who put it there if that was the case? Lambert Co. I made uh, serious inquiries about that, and there have been nothing. There was only five or it was, this was only five or six years prior to Flora Delta. And that was replying to uh, the increase in the crime. Yeah, let's not forget the bullet on Tobe's desk, which was clearly a uh, a message. That was clearly a message being sent. And it was, it does appear to be a 40, 40 caliber bullet. Okay. To my eyes, looking at that bullet on Tobe's desk, it looks just like a 40 caliber bullet. Okay. I noticed there was a lot of different white supremacists in that area that have beef with each other. Could be trying to frame one another. Well, and you got to think there, which of the white supremacists there are Hell's Angels affiliated? And which of the white supremacists there are outlaws affiliated? I think it's a huge thing that you guys cannot forget to keep in mind is the uh, is the drug is is a, you got to think about the drug trafficking territories and the Hell's Angels versus outlaws contingents and uh, and both would have white supremacists within the ranks. So these two groups vying, I mean, this may be actually what we're looking at. I mean, you know. There's any sort of thing going on between Derek and some sort of payback. You know, we definitely could be looking at uh, Hell's Angels versus Outlaws dynamic, but uh, a, but in the subgroups that have the white supremacist leanings, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Can someone go outside, eject 10 shells, and come back and tell me all the marks are the same? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Four Fizz. There's no fucking way with that technology. I mean, the science, I get it that some guns would leave more distinguishable ejection marks than others, but no, I just don't. I, it's going to be nothing like a fired round because we know that that science is very well established. It's very clear you almost are looking at fingerprint type of markings on on the striking of a firing pin but on an ejection mark no there's too much random the 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 round can be sitting in different positions in that magazine uh the the rounds can be different uh sizes very minutely different because of their different brands of bullets and stuff so I don't buy it at all. This, this is the science is nothing like the traditional science of um, ballistics. 
and any you know, firing pin markings on the uh, on the caps. Let's see. Let's see. I think it's a huge thing that BP almost immediately told Ellie to look into be Brad Holder. Me too. And then just remember that it's only days after that they're interviewing Brad Holder. Coincidentally, lost or recorded over or deleted that interview. But not only does she mention it, but then they're they're interviewing him in Westfall. If a stranger found the bullet after the crime scene was released, how did the stranger know where the girls were? Did Ellie use old school chalk outlines? Pardon me, August. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's nuts. There's so much that you're expected to believe and go along with and so much bending you're supposed to do with this case that when do you actually snap? When can you not bend any anymore with all of the shit that you've been handling? That eject can hit the sidewall, all kinds of shit. Yeah. Of course, any large group would have subgroups with different differing opinions, but there's an overarching group that makes the calls, the hand, and the white power groups are the glove. Okay. No Hell's Angels I've ever heard of around India. Yes, they are. They're, well, the, that's the thing is they've been intruding. Okay, we've been studying this. The Hell's Angels have been intruding or, or sort of there's been some disputes, some territorial incursion here. And this is, this is something that's been going on. And, yeah. So we know that the, the, the outlaws affiliated are very strong in that area, especially Chicago on down. And... Um, and that's your power grip there, but there have been there have been uh, flame ups there between the two, and I'm just allowing the possibility that one or either or both could we could be dealing with because I believe it is a meth connection, a big drug connection. I believe that because of that, you could be very well dealing with bikers. Okay. We are in the Delphi Vortex. You can check your coat, but never leave. The killer took time to cover them up, but didn't take time to recover an ejected bullet. Yeah, and, and what about Elvis's field? What about Elvis Fields, right? And his knowledge of the uh, of the crime scene. How do you explain that away? I mean, just someone just tell me. Did any of us have any idea about the crime scene before we were told? So how did Elvis Fields have knowledge of the crime scene? No one finds that concerning? Elvis Fields. Not only that, the David er Erskine text also display some there's there's some concern that he that there was knowledge of the crime scene too because he talks about them being covered partially okay people have also been known to leave other people's possessions to confuse law enforcement yeah it's a setup yes i do too It was probably ejected from Allen's gun after they executed a search warrant. Also possible. But we also know Cody lived not but a couple houses down for some time. So could could Cody have ever gone into that house and stolen some bullets? I mean, you live right a couple houses down, it's pretty easy to know when no one's home to go into that house. Louise says the Ridgeway Green River Killer would leave other people's chewed gum and cigarette butts. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. 
Luna thinks that this crime was meticulously plotted out and plotted and carried out. I don't believe so, but I could see why you would say that. I think, I think for, I think on this part, we may or may not agree, but I'm telling you what we would agree on is that the cover up was okay. So whether the crime itself was, was pre-planned, I think one thing's absolutely certain is that after the deaths of the girls, the cover up was meticulously plotted and carried out. I would agree with that statement. That the cover up we're looking at and always have been uh, has been meticulously plotted out, and that's why there was the photoshopping, the sharing of social media, the lies, the the all the everything we've dealt with. Was there a local shooting range? Yes, it was at Wilson Bridge. It wasn't a shooting range, though. It's just they'd go shoot their guns out there. And I'm telling you, I have a really strange feeling about that. Possibly them shooting out there by Wilson Bridge. And I always have had this Wilson Bridge feeling. And if this killer was ready, packed, and equipped, and barely left a trace of evidence, you think he missed picking up the only round he he ejected? Exactly. Exactly. Why would you leave a round if you know you ejected it? Because it's going to have your fingerprints. Typically, when you load a gun, you're loading the magazine, you're doing this. You're putting your thumbprint right onto the round as you load that magazine. He would know that. Okay. If they compared other bullets, Maxwell or Weber, to this bullet, then they should have dated digital evidence of the microscopic markings before Richard Allen was ever heard of. Yes, and remember that Julie Melvin said when she spoke to some detectives from Indianapolis who had served on the search and uh, the crime scene processing, et cetera, that they had found tons of fully 40 caliber rounds and uh, casings that they believed were mostly from Brad Weber. And we know that Brad Weber had a very identical gun to Richard Allen, which is a 40 caliber sink. So Ron knew what was going on in those woods before the murders? I don't think so. I think he knew what was going on after. No, no, I, I put it this way. Yes, I think he knew what was going on, that they were partying out there and all smoked out of their minds. But I, I kind of tend to lean towards he probably didn't know about the murders until after the girls were dead. It's my feeling. Elvis's sister thought it was very concerning. Yeah, it's very strange. And his sister, Mary Jacobs, had a connection with Homeland Security prior, prior to the Delphi murders. Yes, her friend. So she had to, the, the interesting thing is that she had to go to her friend with Homeland Security and compel her to help to get the cops to even listen. And it's just in, in, insane. And Stephanie Thompson, I believe, did do those lie detector tests. And then she has been killed, in my opinion. Whew, it's stressful. Aaron Town says the fake timeline and fake photos are key to the truth. Some of people find that impossible to understand. Yes, well, here's the thing. Point one, fake timeline. Yes, because if the time and place have been changed, that means that the evidence that was left to indicate time and place and the witness statements and the family statements, everything that gives time and place, if that's inaccurate, then it, the fix is in from day one. And then if the photos are faked, which we know they are, there's Photoshopping, then, then the fix is in again. So what do both of those things show you that in the very immediate first days, the fix is already in. There's a there's fake time, there's fake place, there's fake evidence planted there. And remember, they left that fucking phone under the dead body of Abby to be found, which tells me it screams to me that whatever was on that found on that phone was left there to be found. Mary Jacobs told her the truth. This is all bullshit, like it fed everyone. Yeah, it is. I mean, the whole PCA. 
Okay, we're going to go back. Bad news. Good news, bad news for you guys. The next document review we're going to do is we're going to go back to the PCA and we're going to read all the different versions of it and compare, contrast, uh, comment, breakdown, analyze, all of that. So we're going to do a deep dive on Liggett's fraudulent PCA. So get ready for that. That'll be fun. That's the next thing we're covering. I think it's curious that Ari was picked up when he was and also believe they needed a judge and spent much time finding just the right judge for one job. Yeah, just just the right judge. Mm. It's interesting that this all happened, that this is all happening in 2024. Both sister of Elvis had interviews, both the sisters, yes. And they both said the same things. I mean, they both basically were extremely concerned that he killed these girls or that he had something to do with them. I mean, red flags. <clears throat> I'll tell you something else. If it were my first time in jail and I was in solitary being tormented for months by fucking Odinus, I'd probably tell people anything they want to hear just to make it go away. Well, that's why you can't just... It's, it's just like they said... You remember, you remember these guys coming onto YouTube, these goddamn law enforcement friendly fucking YouTubers, right? And the first thing they said, they found a bullet between the two girls. They found a bullet. Okay. They were really trying to convince us of that until we find out the truth that it was a whole shit show. Well, what was the other thing? What was the other thing? Uh, he confessed. He confessed. He confessed. He confessed. Five times. You know, never did they give the the the, the time to e to even consider, well, if you were under duress and in a stressful situation like that in solitary and you had two Odinous guards like basically threaten to kill you all the time and kill your family, uh, and they're telling you they're gonna kill your wife if you don't uh confess to her tomorrow, then don't you think that you might be inclined to maybe just so that she's not killed, you might actually say some sort of confession. <clears throat> I mean, no, but they tried to run with that, with the bullshit gaslight uh, narrative to say, oh, he confessed, he confessed, he confessed five times, he confessed. None of us have heard it. None of us have seen the transcript. None of us have talked to the wife. There's, there's no indication of what was the nature of these confessions. I would be uh, strongly inclined to believe that he was under extreme amount of stress and anxiety. And therefore, any confession produced or he might have given, could you, you can't, it can't be reliable. Especially the fact that we know he was consistently asking, is his wife is okay? Is his wife alive? Is his family okay? Is his family alive? And then he's saying it's the Odinous patches wearing guards who are fucking with him. And you put that all together, it kind of says these Odinists were fucking with him, threatening to kill his wife and his family, and therefore he kept asking about it and probably was compelled to kind of say he killed the girls just because they knew he'd be recorded, so they wanted to have that recording to use against him. Seems like that's what it is to me. And where does he fit into all this? I don't know. I think he was... a. Uh, I think he's like the rumor that uh, came to me that I think he was a, a little associate of these guys and uh, he was probably just kind of hanging around to help out and he got brought into a terrible situation is my assumption. Family interviews recorded over in the first week. All interviews recorded over in the first week that took place in that thing because the statement is that in that interview room, the one recording setup was recorded over the first six days, it recorded over itself. So that means you'd have got nothing from the first six days that was recorded in that room. And we already discussed how improbable that was because you're telling me none of these detectives were going back and grabbing those interviews to listen to over again or anything. Come on, man. It's nonsensical. The phone was located inside Libby Shoe under Abbey to be protected from water, left there with whatever was on it to be found. Do you think Ron knew of the meth activity? Absolutely. 
I am absolutely 100,000% confident he knew of the meth activity. I mean, come on, he knew, Garrett. Hey, Rochelle, Rochelle D in the house. Welcome in. Uh, round of applause to you, Rochelle, for coming in. Go has a reputation of taking the state side. Yeah, well, no shit. She, she seems like just the most hardcore, old school, corrupt type of, uh, you know, good old boy, uh, Mason ass kicking, ass kissing uh, judge that there is. That's what she seems like to me. She has no compassion whatsoever. She gave clearly schizophrenic man who protected his seven year old niece and murdered family members a death sentence. Whoa. Oscar most recently said what he saw, experienced during crime scene, and the search was not what is being told in social media. Hey, where is that digital? Where is that digital? Yeah, who was with Mike in the canoe? What was that all about? Who did the, <clears throat> this case is crazy, and the powers that be are freaking out. It's the deaths of people surrounding it. They're all under pressure, and it's about to explode. That's what I said. It, this shit is about to hit the fan big time very soon. The dam is failing. <clears throat> it will be interesting to see if this will be released for public consumption after it's all over. Of all people, Ruckus Rock should know all this shit if he was such a devoted turnkey. He knows how shit gets done inside the walls. How about we run McClellan in for breaking the gag order, publicly announcing that Ari had confessed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of that gag order, uh, we need to talk about the uh, YouTubers breaking the gag order uh, or uh, the family breaking the gag order through YouTubers, uh, which is specifically prohibited in the gag order. I have uh, attached it here in the description. If you look into the description under this video, you will see the quotation from the gag order that specifically applies here. And um, the family is prohibited from speaking either directly or indirectly to YouTubers. Now, you tell me how the family is not in total violation of the gag order because it is an absolute fact and there's evidence to prove so that the family has consistently been speaking with YouTubers both indirectly and through intermediaries. So family is breaking the gag order and has broken the gag order many, many times. Yes, I mean Becky, Patty, and Anna Williams. <laughs> So let's talk about the gag orders if we're going to talk about gag orders. I believe this will be like the JFK case. Truth will, truth will come out 40 years later. No, I bet in two years. Within two years. Many who seem trustworthy are not. Yeah. I wouldn't believe a word Ruckus said ever. No. Two days after Richard Allen's arrest, Ruckus Rocks creates his channel. Two days after Richard Allen's arrest, Ruckus Rocks creates his channel. Not, not arrest, but the announcement. Two days after the announcement of the arrest of Richard Allen, Ruckus Rocks creates his channel. Was there a third shoe? And if so, who was scrambling to find it because they dropped it? There are wolves and then there are wolves in sheep's clothing. Yes, called the YouTubers, who I have been trying to display to you. You'll be hearing more about that. These YouTubers, you have no clue. Digital, I don't believe anything from Frank. Please don't believe anything from Frank. It was the smartest thing he could do was confess to a family to satisfy bad art actors while still giving himself himself a chance to tell jurors of the threat and to make the jury's uh, to make it the jury's decision while saving his family yes because he truly believed his family would be killed remember he was consistently asking is my wife okay is my wife alive is my family okay is my family alive these are the questions he was asking his lawyers
Ron could have implicated a lot of people. He may have, too. You don't know if Ron didn't turn witness before his death. I know there was a recent interview with Erskine. Louise, I trust nothing from Ruckus or Little Frankie. So weird hearing gag order because of the murders every day in Indy. They don't need gag orders. Nobody talks. Long day. Great chat, Prof and crew. Catch you on the next one. Yes, yes, sir. We are uh, we are heading out very soon. We're going to end it very soon. Okay. I believe the Freemasons are what ties it all together. Good night, Four Pits. We had a turnkey in Carroll County. His name was Steve Pearson. What a clown. Louise, I don't either, but he and Erskine on his, he had Erskine on his show via phone interview. I saw a message on Facebook from Anna to Becky that someone was putting content up and to report him. Yes, they are breaking the gag order on a daily basis. And we have proof. We have absolute proof. You're heading out as well? All right. Uh, it's a God thing. Good night. Good night to you. All right, you guys. Well, look, let's wind it down. Hey, everyone, it's been a great show. It's been a great show. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. That was an awesome chat. Uh, wow, did we cover a lot of ground? Awesome chat. I'm feeling pretty tired. I, I've been, like I said, I haven't felt well for a couple of days. So I'm going to uh, slow it on down. We'll get out of here in the next five minutes. Thank you for Pits and Is a God thing. I know you guys are getting out of here. Uh, uh, I know Frenchie's already left. Um, I just want to thank everyone. And, and and I am serious about the fact that we will be getting into the, uh, we're going to be getting into a detailed analysis of the PCA and comparing some different versions of the PCA. And uh, we're going to be nitpicking. We're going to be nitpicking. Okay. So we'll be finding out about the concerns with the PCA. Hey, thank you very much is a God thing. I happen to see that. Okay, that popped right up. Thank you very much. Uh, super chat from it's a God thing. Round of applause. Thank you very much. That's awesome, guys. Everybody, thank you so much. Please hit the like, okay? And please, 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 let me ask you to do this. If you have not subscribed to the backup channel, please subscribe to the backup channel. Please, I'm trying to get to 500. I got 50 more. I need 50 more subs on the backup channel, and that'll give us to 500. And uh, and that'll get the backup channel well-established, and uh, it won't be going anywhere because we need a backup channel. We need a very secure backup channel. So please, go and subscribe to the backup channel. And in your, in your notifications, make sure you turn those notifications to all if you want to be notified about the lives. Um, so if you want these notifications to get the live stream, just hit all on the notifications. But please go ahead and uh, back up that, I mean, uh, subscribe to the backup channel, hit the like. Uh, be aware that I do post different things on that community community page because I don't like overwhelming my community page here. So I sort of split the communicate page between both channels. So I put some stuff here, some there, some here, there. But um, anyhow, Please remember the backup channel and to go subscribe so we can get to 500. And uh, please hit like. And thank you so much for joining this chat. It's been a really good discussion. Uh, there's some things that I made sure to screenshot so I can go back and study up on tomorrow. Um, so it's been an awesome uh, chat tonight. So thanks, everyone, for joining. We'll be back soon. And I can't wait to get into the PCA. And uh, let me just say uh, goodbye to everyone who's here. Again, thanks. It's a God thing for Super Chat. Let's see. Deanna Burdett. Deanna Burdett, thank you very much for being here. Um, Diamond Eyes, thank you for being here. Thanks so much. Marbles, thank you so much, Marbles and Amy. 
Yeah, Amy says, go hit that backup channel. Please go subscribe to it. Thank you, Amy. And August Barnes. Thank you, August, for being here again. And Aaron Town, thanks for coming back, Aaron. All right. Aaron Town and Four Pits, thank you for being here. And Noe, look at Noe. Right, thank you for being here, Noe. And uh, who else was there? Louise. Thank you for being here, Louise. And blessings galore. Thank you so much for your uh, for your contribution last night. Blessings galore. Blessing galore, galore says, my opinion down the hill on the audio was not spoken by Richard Allen. My opinion, that is a central southern Illinois accent. Interesting. Isn't that just a, the, you know, honestly, that's the biggest intrigue and, and mystery here in my opinion, is the is the video and audio, right? The, the down the hill and the uh, bridge guy video. Isn't that just the most intriguing thing ever that draws people to this case? Yeah, it's just incredible. <clears throat> well, Lambert Cole, thank you for being here. Lambert Cole, yeah. If Richard asked you anything, how could he know who the hell to trust? Many of them are cult members, including the higher ups. Yep. Mike Cunningham. Thank you so much for being here, Mike. All right. Mike was here. And uh, oh, man, everyone. Nancy Drew, um, August Barnes, uh, Precocent was here earlier. Digital. Jojo was here. Luna Ray. Um, anyone else earlier? who was here in the chat. Uh, I apologize if I'm not naming you. Let's see, Freckle Joy and Shay Watson, um, Marbles and all the regulars. Thank you so much for contributing to chat. It was a great chat today. And look, we had these wonderful things here. We had, um, we had remember the highlight, Jojo, Jojo brought to my attention the word lithotripsy, which I've never heard in my life. And uh, we read through what lithotripsy was and it's really crazy, right? Lithotripsy is really crazy. But my brother had his lithotripsy and he got out of there within two days and it was a great lithotripsy he received. So, um, well, I'm just so happy because I, I was really afraid they were going to cut him to go in there, but they didn't cut him at all. All right. So lithotripsy, a highlight from Jojo and Miss B60 with a super sticker. Thank you so much, B60. And is a God thing. And look at Nancy Drew. Thank you so much, Nancy Drew. That's very sweet. So let me get back to these latest comments. Nancy Drew, thank you so much. Deanna says, are you looking at new cases? Well, no, I still am working with the baby Dior, but we haven't uh, really decided to schedule a, a, another show yet. But we have a baby Dior show coming because uh, we have new stuff with the baby Dior. Um, oh, yeah, fur baby daddy, I almost missed you. Baby daddy, thanks for coming. Diamond eyes. Marble says, I can't tell Illinois, Ohio accents, but I can tell Kentucky and Michigan. Check how Brian Williams was arrested for bomb threats to the Packers in 2016. Oh, you wanted to bomb the Packers? Oh, good night, Jim P. Good night. And Laura, good night. Catch you on the replay, Laura. All right, good night, everyone. Mike says, since, uh, never forget, since Fed's involved, they go after the family of all crooks. They will make you hurt until you roll. Whoa. The money involved is high stakes, so you better uh, believe there are high profile people involved to protect their stakes. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm getting at. August Barnes. <clears throat> it's like a jackhammer for kidney stones. True Crime Jesus had a whole video on Jerome Weiss. And Rochelle missed it. Well, please, please listen to the replay. You'll love it. But if not, we'll catch you tomorrow or something. All right. Good night, Amy and Rochelle and Marbles and Diamond Eyes. The great chat. Thank you all. I love you guys. We'll see y'all. Uh, I'm out of here. We'll see you next time. We will see you. All right. We'll be back. Good night, Luna Ray and everyone else.
Thank you.